Oh, look at that dogfish. Pretty big one. Nice. There we go. Dogfish. I'm gonna take this home, cook him up, and uh, still got uh, five hours of fishing. So maybe we can get a soup fin as well, which is the target species. But I've never eaten a dogfish, so I'm gonna take this one. All right, so here's what we're left with. I gutted him. Still some stuff I need to take care of. Took the fins off and the tail, and I'm gonna throw that on ice right away. My friends that have eaten it say that's the most important thing. Bleed it, gut it, throw it on ice as quickly as possible. So that was a pretty decent sized fish, but uh, told there's not really that much meat. There's a lot of guts and stuff. And here's the prized parts of this fish. They're livers. There's quite a bit of liver. And you can take these and boil them and you'll get shark liver oil. We're gonna put these on the ice as well and uh, give that a try. Another dogfish. There he is. Making some funny noises. Another dog fish. So these are actually uh, sturgeon rigs I'm re using. You can also use a wire, but uh, since they're mostly dogfish in here, I switched over to this. So it's just a chunk of meat on there. Got a six ounce swivel on a sinker slide. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that was, that's a nice size one. So there's what can go wrong with, uh, using braided line instead of a steel wire. This will be my last uh, setup for the day. I'll show you my other rig. This is what I go for the bigger sharks with, like the soup fin. Got uh, three feet of steel wire, a uh, 50 knot hook. Here's my bait, just a little fish head, some uh, magic thread. This will be my last one of the day.
Another spiny dogfish. shark. I'm not going to keep her, so I'm just going to let her go. Okay, so here we are in my new house. First time I've done a catch and cook in here. But, uh, one of the comments a lot of people have made um, before on my other videos is that I cut uh, the fish directly on the counters and people don't like that. So I got a cutting board. Also, my wife probably wouldn't want me cutting on the squirts. Anyways, so here's our fish. Throw on some more lights, hopefully that helps. Here's our shark. Not the biggest, not the smallest either. So it's got a spine down here. It's probably all cartilage. So I'm just gonna cut it down the back. Nice white meat. So there's some I missed on here. Okay, the battery died on me there. Hopefully I didn't lose too much footage. Um, okay, so I'm just cutting this down into smaller, more workable pieces. Okay, so we've cut out most of the cartilage. Now all we have left is to get rid of the skin. Their skin is so sticky. It's like sandpaper. I wonder if you can hear that. Pretty cool. So I'm just carefully cutting this red piece off. And that's another comment I get. People are like, your knife skills are scary. Not very scary to me. Make sure you got sharp knives and you're always in control. And you got nothing to worry about. All right, so I got most of the red off. Still some left, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna further cut these down. Okay, so there we have it. I'm gonna just rinse these off. I'm not gonna eat all this tonight, but I'll try a few. And uh, I'm gonna soak some in buttermilk because I hear that tastes better. But I'm gonna try it with and without and we'll see which one I like best. Or if it even makes a difference. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a regular fish and chips here. So first you need to dry off these um, fish fries. Sprinkle some salt on there. This is just all-purpose flour. Just got a half cup. All right. Half teaspoon of uh, baking powder. And I'm just 
Just gonna add some beer. It's just one of those thick as pancake batter. Now I'm gonna make some fries and then I'll cook these. And then I'll cook the fries again. Okay, so I fried those fries for three minutes and then I'm gonna cook these fish for about eight minutes, keeping an eye on it, making sure it doesn't uh, get too brown. Nice white flaky meat. Got some tartar sauce here. I'm gonna try it without it first. Well, it's definitely not cod or halibut. It's a little fishy and kind of a little mushy. It's like a very soft um, meat. It's not terrible though. Um, if you can't afford cod or halibut, I guess Hus is a nice alternative. Hus is what they call shark in England. If you go and order fish and chips and see Hus, you're eating shark. Yeah, it's not terrible. Um, probably the buttermilk could make this a little less fishy, but I didn't do the best job of cutting all the red parts out, but it's not, it's not horrible. But I'm gonna take this and uh, eat it, enjoy my fries and everything. And uh, we'll catch you next time.